Dr. Kumar, before you start, just going to uh, have my expert panel come up. Dr. Kroll, yeah. Dr. Mohammed Hanifi from Sri yes, Lanka. Yes, please go ahead. Dr. Govender mm -hmm. from South Africa. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Kamal yeah. from Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Dr. Mm -hmm. Kumar, you're, you're live. Hi. Yeah, so hi, good afternoon. Uh, the expert panels and chairpersons. So we are going to have another live case. And if I can introduce the case, uh, he is a 54-year-old gentleman. He's had had hypertension and recent onset class 3 angina for last couple of months. He did a stress test that was significantly positive. And yesterday we did cath him and he had, you know, the diagonal, large diagonal had 90% osteoproximal lesion and LED. There's no other comorbidities. The kidney functions and all is absolutely fine. So can you show the angiogram, please? We see the angiogram. So this is his angiogram in cranial view. You could see. So can you see the angiogram now? Yes, we can. Hmm. So it has got a very uh, severe degree stenosis of the ostium of the large diagonal branch. And uh, just below that, there is another severe lesion in the LED. So this is uh, sort of a, a zero, the one, circumflex one and right coronary are normal. Hmm. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, so this is zero, one, one bifurcation lesion. So I would like to know from the expert panel that what strategy would they like to have here? Wonderful. It's a wonderful bifurcation case. Let's talk to our panel. Uh, Dr. Kamal, how do you handle this in your uh, institution at KL? Um, yeah, it's a significant diagonal. Uh, so I think the main, the main question here is whether we want to do a single stand or two stands. Um, I, I think because it's a Medina Zero, uh, initially I uh, pro probably would uh, just protect the diagonal and consider just a provisional stenting. But, um, um, with a very low threshold of uh, intervening in the diagonal if anything goes wrong. Uh, but even uh, two-stand strategy, if, if I was to use a two-stand strategy, probably be a, um, a culotte or, or uh, a crush here. What do you think? Um, I would agree very much. I would wire, that's a sizable diagonal. I would wire the diagonal, protect the diagonal, provisional stenting and then thereafter review what the, you know, the outcome on the diagonal would be. Right. Dr. Kroll? I, I agree with you, but uh, I think that the most, uh, or the biggest problem is the um, diameter uh, below and, and uh, over the stenosis in LAD and, uh, and uh, playing with the diameter of the stand. This is, for me, this is the challenge. Yeah, I, I, my, my thought, Dr. Kumar, I like, I like the fact that you're imaging, but, you know, I, I think this is a very large diagonal with significant disease that is not going to look good um, yeah. no matter what you do uh, after predilatation. I actually don't think that the LED lesion uh, actually surpasses the origin of the diagonal. So I think you could do a two-stent strategy here. Uh, and there are many different strategies we could talk about it, but that would be my choice. But that's just my thought. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again. So go ahead and carry well, so on. Well, so I think as you rightly said, it's zero one one Medina classification, the bifurcation. So we feel that the diagonal is almost as big as uh, LAD, and it's very large. So. Uh, we have wired the LED and diagonal. I can show you the diagonal lesion was very fibrotic. We had a lot of difficulty in getting the balloon, you know, stay there. The moment you, so there are a lot of, uh, you know, melon seeding and uh, balloon either would come into the LED and or go distally. 
the other issue which I feel as the panelists have also shown that there is a mismatch between the segment of LED which is before the diagonal or at the lesion site where the LED and after the lesion it really becomes a small vessel relative to you know so around almost four O size is there of the LED at the site of the diagonal branch and then it becomes you know at least 2.75 to 3 millimeter. So uh, given such a big diagonal and the osteal lesion and the LED, we felt that this is a case where we need to be going at two stent strategy because you know you can do a separate stenting of both the lesions and uh, what does the panel feel about uh, you know because it's not something where you need to go through the stent strut you can separately place two stents and the fortunately the proximal part of the LED is quite roomy almost four millimeter size OCT yeah so that, that it gives you a more so can options. you show we have wired the both the lesions next the, the only the only yes. thing you can't do here is cool out and you can see the melon seeding this is just not yeah, the, the only strategy yeah. that will not work here is coolant. Yes, absolutely. So that, that's something which is not... Yeah. And in cases like this, coolant, oftentimes the, I will use a specialty balloon, like the angiosculpt, Next. which will not mm -hmm. slip mm -hmm. and, and give you good expansion. Mm -hmm. But it's a very tight lesion, yes. as you see. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so mm, that's a very tight lesion. So we want to prep it even further. So can we have the, the flex dome? Flex dome. So we'll prep the ostium of the diagonal even with the cutting balloon. 2.5 there though. Can I have the cutting balloon and just sculpt it? I mean here the, uh, the options for two stent technique are... So we have flex dome, uh, so we'll use that. Yeah, are, are plenty. You can do mm -hmm. a, a, a mini crush, you could do a T and protrusion, you can mm -hmm. do a V, uh, because the, 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 the prox LED is so mm -hmm. large. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the imaging will yeah. be very helpful. So the, the, the patient also wanted absorbable technology. So we would use a most likely V stenting. We'll see how it goes. Though in deflector. Yeah. So we have some issues with the OCT. So till it works, I think we would work on the lesion preparation. So this is a flex storm balloon because ostium did not open up very well with the regular balloon so we would just give a low pressure cutting balloon dilatation of the diagonal ostium okay can we have hmm. connect yes hmm. Check, please. Yeah. So slowly go two, four, six. So we are cutting. Yeah. So this is staying. It's not melon seeding. So we are preparing the ostium of the. This 2.5 into nine. nine millimeter flex storm. Hmm. Nominal eight millimeters. Negative. Hmm. Can we see? Yeah. So the, both the, the money, lesions are prepped yeah, very spending well. Spending the money for this is very wise. Really allows you to prep mm. so that you'll be able to place the stent. Yeah. The angle is a shallow angle, mm -hmm. so you're going to yeah. need to have some stent sitting in the LED, in the mm -hmm. diagonal, to cover the ostium. Yeah, so I think uh, since the, the LED is quite roomy, so probably we can you know, have a couple of, one strut at least in the main LED. Yeah. So what is the panel thought about using a absorbable scaffold in this situation, the Meris? Uh, well, imaging that's really? a good question. Uh, first, uh, uh, in generally, that would be uh, good to think how uh, Mm -hmm. implant the stands, uh, whether uh, one uh, 
stand should cover a large and, and narrow part of LED or rather just spot standing would be enough uh, in LED and another spot standing in, uh, in diagonal. Personally, I would prefer this technique because uh, there is a large mm -hmm. difference between uh, uh, medium uh, LID and distal LID. So uh, uh, if uh, uh, mm -hmm. BRS is uh, used, uh, then uh, there will be a need for post-dilatation with large balloon and then it may destroy the struts. Uh, Maybe for mm. for these uh, mm, yeah. uh, uh, for a diagonal, uh, the the BRS might be good, or the second BRS, but well, very mm -hmm. very short and and spotted implantation should be applied. <laughs> yeah, my biggest problem, so Dr. Kumar, in the BRS and the LED Three, is two. the mismatch. Well, so what I think, mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So how about thinking that, you know, the, if you look at the site where the lesion starts, the tapering end of the dilated segment of LED, that goes, uh, we can, you know, finish this stent in the tapering end of the dilated segment. Yeah. And then uh, we can, we have margin of one millimeter upsizing with the meres. So we could do a 4-0 proximal end dilatation and three into the main LED. As long and as you, we'll as, as you know, long as do you an can imaging uh, and see how Achieve that position, you'll be okay. Yeah, that's right. So can we have uh, Meris three into 18 for the diagonal and three into 15 for the LED, three into 18 for the LED? Hmm? I think the, the OCT is ready now, so we'll take an imaging first, get the size, idea of the size, and then we'll implant this tent. Hmm? Yeah, so we, we are just imaging. You're okay? Hmm? Yeah. Got the meres both sizes. Size hand or no? Meres. Okay, so can we have the OCT images? Okay. Hmm? Hmm. Inject. Karam. Yeah, inject. Another <laughs> just. Ready to go. Yeah. 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 Three point two five ninety. Love it, Venus be there. Size is almost three. Flush.
Okay, so can we have a 319 on the diagonal and 3.25 on the LAD? Can you bring it back? So we will prefer to, you know, keep the stents there so that if we, even if we protrude one to two struts inside the LED, that should not, you know, interfere with the passage of the, the stent in the main branch LED. So give the diagonal one three into nineteen. Mm -hmm. And LED 3.25 into 19. So are you planning to jail the uh, diagonal after you stent it with the uh, LED stent? Or are you going to just do a V? No. So we would just keep at the lower end of the diagonal. So we would not. It will be something like a V stenting. Yeah. Because otherwise the, the diagonal osteal site the LED is not diseased at all, so we would just leave it such. Mm. Lights, please. Lights, please. So this is the Meres 3 into 19 for the diagonal and 3.25 into who is on diagonal? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Mm. To the LED. Yeah. Mm. Okay, prep. I'll just take it. So we have seven French guides, so that way space is not an issue. Taking sometimes, if you take a smaller guide, then taking two devices will be difficult. <coughs> yeah, you can't you can't put two stents in a six French grip. Hmm. Yes. Check please. Yes, we will take a shoot and see how things are. Just a small. <coughs> so as you know, the, the, the proximal markers are 5 millimeter inside the stent's outer margin. Check. Yes. So we'll keep the mar markers Cranial exactly at the ostium, will not, so that automatically some part will come in the LED. So Are you? Shot. So can we go on the diagonal, please? Slowly. So we are deploying the diagonal meres. Ah. No. So remember, diagonal is three. So we'll go at no, nominal. Now Guiding. Left. Six. Nine. Ten. So I think the ostium also has opened okay. up. There is no residual, you know, unexpanded Lush. portion. Take three way. Here, please. Thirty seconds. Deflate. Boost. Mm. Instant boost, please. You can see all the three Six markers star. are well separated. And we will take a shoot how the ostium looks like. XB there though. Usko bulalo Ashwini ko. Ashwini ko bulalo. Can we have a check shot? Oh, 
प्रेशर 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 सो डायगनल लुक्स मोर लेस ओके बिकॉज द अपर मार्कर इज टचिंग द आउटर बॉर्डर ये सो नाउ आई थिंक वी विल डिप्लॉय द एल ए डी कॉर्डल चेक शॉट अगेन या गो एल ए डी नाइन टेन स्लोली इन्फ्लेशन नाइन थर्टी सेकेंड चलो are you so you can see that we are falling shy of the origin of diagonal you could see in the last check shot plate the next save it here hmm. cranial yeah i agree with the strategy the only thing i would have done differently is right. left the balloon of the diagonal in yeah. the vessel ap cranial And uh, after deploying the LED stent, I would have done yeah. a kiss with the LED diagonal mm -hmm. balloons to mm -hmm. keep the carina mm -hmm. no. yeah. from shifting. Mm -hmm. Negative. Yeah. Yeah. Are you cordial? So yeah, we will take smaller balloons. Look how. And check, please. So <laughs> till this point, it looks okay. Some oh, amount okay. of you know diagonal still pinching is there so we'll take a small star. balloon and do a kissing balloon can we have mosaic 3 and yeah so can we have 3 8 for the diagonal so we're taking nc balloons for diagonal and led for post dilatation yeah i think it's going to look very yeah, nice um, you can here Again, I don't have experience with bifurcation uh, BRS technology, but uh, you're going to image, I would as imagine, at the end, uh, both limbs. But I would finish with a yes, we nice will. three of them combined, simultaneous inflation, deflation, and then image both sides. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the LED. Darker with this. So three of balloon is ready, and three point five also. Yes. So things which we should not do of pulling the wire out that has inadvertently come out. So we will yes. go into the diagonal. So we have fortunately gone in, but we will just check it with the balloon Hello, whether cranial. it is not going beneath the struts. Who are you, cranial? Just one. Yes. Two, three, and two. Eight, nine. Yes. Hmm? And 3.5 for the LED. Brain does a lot here, no? Yes, it can, but somebody check. Okay, so it's going in quite smoothly. And can we have the another balloon for the LED? picture connect it first so what we are going to do is that we'll do a simultaneous dilatation of the led and the diagonal so that the carina is well preserved and then we'll do the imaging any suggestions from the panel just Sorry, but okay, okay. no people are uh, agreeing with your approach. So our plan is to do. <laughs> okay, good. The car is a man. Like two millimeter, give two balloons. Put a dilate. Can we? Then I was doing. We are doing. 
So it's 3.5 into 15 balloon for the LED and 3 into 8. 2 ka naya balloon, 212 boost. So we'll do a stent boost and see the markers. Yeah, so they are right there. Can you inject, please? Yeah. So can go six on the eight, eight on both. Diagonal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nine, ten. Thirty seconds. Diagonal me to need all the Diagonal me. No, to. Negative. Using your bifurcation formula, so it's over diagonal. four millimeters. So diagonal only. Uh, well, diffuse the disease, right? Uh. Yeah. Where does it? Only thing? diagonal, 12, 14. Do you want to do it quarterly? Yeah, okay, one minute. Now only LED, 12, 14. Yeah. Negative. And then we'll have... Tick. Huh? Do it. It's still over here. What happened? Deflate. Have we dilated ki aage chale gai? Ho gaya, dilate. Dilate to ho gaya. Alio cordial karo? Alio wala gate. Eight. Eight, nine, ten. Negative. Kar to liye. Yaha to kar liye na. Okay. So I think there's an important technique is to do each one individually by the pressure and then finish with a resetting kissing balloon. Must you can? Yeah, exactly. Fourteen, sixteen. Give a wire for diagonal. Negative. BMW. BMW. ये तो all star लिया. लंबा stint लेंगे ना तो. Fourteen on the LED. Negative. I was caster ready. Eight, eight. I was caster. कर लिया सर flash flash. तो लगाया तो है नहीं अभी. BMW दे डाल देते हैं. Negative. BMW दे दो. So now we'll withdraw the balloon and then check a shot and then the OCT. शीट डालने को मिक्सअप फायर्स तो देख लेंगे बाद में कर लेंगे ना यू कैन बी द ओसीटी वी डन ऑन द डायगनल बिकॉज़ दैट लीजन वाज मोर फाइब्रोटिक एंड प्रोबेबली फर्स्ट लीजन कंपेयर टू द एलईडी यस सर दैट्स व्हाट वी विल डू बोथ तो विल डू द एब्सोल्युटली तो विल डू द डायगनल एंड द एलईडी बोथ that's the plan is. So can we have first one to do that? Hello, Kordal. Hello, Kordal. Up and do it. Yes, let's go. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Give the OCT. Some nitroglycerin. So we are taking a picture first. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do an OCT. OCT on the diagonal first. On the diagonal wire.
इसकी लेंथ कितनी थी भाई लीजन की हमने सोची थी आगे तक या कैन यू शो द ऑन द मेन स्क्रीन सो वी हैव डन द पॉजिटिव इमेजिंग ऑफ द डायगोनल बीआरएस में लॉन्गेस्ट कितना है कैन यू सी ऑन द स्क्रीन यस वी सी इट टिल नाउ इट लुक्स वेल अपोज्ड 3 3.5 कितना है उसको बुला दो ना वो मेरे वाला जो है so it's all along its course it's well opposed and it's come into so one strut is there in the, leo, leo at the you know 180 degrees in the led but uh, it's hanging but otherwise it's well opposed Lower. so i think ostium is nicely covered Where's can you show the last image last frame yeah so this is the image where you know one strut is what is na so it's almost v stenting you can see the other one is also close by Chalo. the led stents proximal strut Ready? is close by ha huh? so all along wherever it has found the wall it's well opposed ha so we'll take the image of the led as well yeah i think it, it looks as well expanded as it's going to be you can go la la Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Give for the LED. How much is the ACT? Two ninety-five. Okay. More. Give one more thousand. the light please mm. yes acha ye picture kon sa hai pinch it theek hai hold it give it just hold the wire कॉस हो गया तो विल पुल आउट द डायगनल वायर आई थिंक इट्स क्रिस क्रॉस्ड नहीं जा रहा
आगे जाने दो ओके ओके सो आर यू रेडी फॉर दी शॉर्ट यस So we'll take uh, another OCT image of the LED. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, you have wired the wire. So I think inadvertently he has pulled the wire. So we'll have to redo the thing, which is what wire? Huh? Let's go at all. और कर दे दो जाने दो दूसरे पे हाँ दी अदर वायर टेक इट आउट so what has happened is yes yeah so we are just feed it on the right wire we just wanted to make sure that we haven't damaged anything there give me yeah this has happened to me and so what i st i've started to do is use different wires for side branch and main branch mm -hmm. with different colors so i use a pro wire mm -hmm. and a mm -hmm. BMW <laughs> or a torque or something just to differentiate. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. So we had put it that way. We separated it with the with the talker, but I think at the end it got mixed up. Anyway, we are good to go. So another chance of imaging the LED. Can you bring it closer? So since the diagonal looked okay, we have withdrawn that wire, and okay. So we'll just take another shoot. Are you ready? There. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yet? ओके हाँ ठीक है ओके शूट ओके सो कैन यू शो द इमेजेस शो द ऑन द मेन स्क्रीन कैन यू ट्रांसफर देयर द ओसीटी इमेजेस ऑन द मेन स्क्रीन Can you see the OCT yes. images now? So till now it looks well opposed, and you can appreciate the strut thicknesses compared to the absorb. It's pretty significantly smaller, but all along it's all 360 degree opposition of the meres. So we are coming to the proximal and. So that's the carina, and it's coming into the. So I think, uh, except for the proximal most segment in the diagonal branch, it looks. Can you just run the last few millimeters of run? Last, proximal. Yeah, I think you have pretty good apposition all in all. Uh, I didn't see any malapposition there. There's a few struts, yeah. but that I think yeah. that might be the diagonal struts mm -hmm. coming in the middle of the room. And diagonal, out. yes, absolutely. That's the diagonal strut. But the yeah, LED yeah, itself yeah. is well opposed. So, any comment or any suggestions? Well, we yeah, had yeah. talked about this earlier this morning about a prolonged DAPT. Perhaps more than 12 yeah. months in these patients with complex PRS yeah, yeah. disease. 
Hmm, that's what, yeah, absolutely it looks like, absolutely. So we'll, we'll give some vasodilators and take a final shoot, if you all agree with that. Yes, I think it's a wonderful demonstration. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. mm. cranial. We'll take an cranial also. Mm. Very, very nicely done. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we all thank you from here, Dr. Vivek, Shushil, my technicians, and the imaging persons. And also, I think thank you for your support and uh, we wish you to see soon. Thank, thank you once again. Thank you very much, Dr. Kumar. Thank you.